The Knights launched a new commercial endeavor that turned out to be quite the hit. I think he was a bit surprised by the level of success, so he told me to come check it out. But seeing as you two are the ones in charge, I'm really not surprised at all. The Knights definitely chose the most reliable people for the job. Uh, Elzer is the manager of Don Winery, right? Huh, Paimon thought he didn't get out much. Wonder how he heard about our shop. Wait, are we that famous already? <laughs> no need to sound so surprised. The winery keeps us all very busy. Elzer only takes the time to brief me with this sort of intel if he thinks we are faced with a real threat. In such a short amount of time, you've been able to establish complete production and supply lines, and even receive orders from all around Tevat. If you were in the wine business, you'd already be one of our biggest rivals. What? what? Threat? Rival? Oh, you sure seem eager, cutie. Looks like you really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number one wine merchant in all of Mondstadt. Are you just itching to see whose business prowess would come out on top? Hmm, a competition with the Traveler. That's not a bad suggestion. You're extremely knowledgeable and well-traveled. If we were to become competitors, I'm sure you'd throw many a challenge my way. Probably even some I've never faced before. But I was really just using the wine industry as an example to emphasize your success. Our two industries aren't exactly fighting for the same market space. Actually, the success of your potion shop is good for the winery's business. Good for your business? Paimon's lost! You were just talking about how the two industries were separate and now they're suddenly connected? <laughs> it's a bit convoluted. Alcohol is a commodity that most people consume in their free time. In order to have free time, though, you have to get off work early. For the alcohol industry to thrive, consumers need to have both the time and the money to spend. That's exactly right. Your potions allow people to work more efficiently. As they get more popular, people will be able to complete their work faster. The more free time people have, the bigger the market there is for a commodity like mine. Oh, that makes sense! It's hard to... Why don't you try out one of our potions? Hmm. I do have quite the interest in the effects of alchemical potions. Well, since you offered, please make a potion that can reduce the anxieties of the user while also improving their attention to detail. Reduce anxiety while also improving the user's attention to detail? That almost sounds a little contradictory to me. I must admit to being curious. If my cuties do manage to make this potion for you, D-Luke, how exactly do you intend to use it? Well, I mentioned before that people with ample free time are an important consumer base for my industry. But actually, the same is true for people who are incredibly busy and overwhelmed with work. After a period of high stress, like a busy workday, it can take a while for people to fully decompress. It's also common for that type of stress to leave people so exhausted that all they can do is spend the rest of the day in a daze. That level of stress and exhaustion makes it hard for people to derive pleasure from things they usually enjoy, like relishing the flavor of their favorite food and drink. Definitely been there before. Sometimes, after a really long day, Paimon will be so tired, but she just can't relax. Not even her favorite snacks would hit the spot like they usually do. Oh, my poor little cuties. Sounds like things can get quite tough out on the road. You know what? You just earn yourself some extra snacks at our upcoming tea party. Once this is all over, I'll personally see to it that you get the chance for a proper rest. Basically, you need us to make a potion that decreases tension, but increases attention. So that people can enjoy the finer things in life, no matter how busy or stressed they are. I uh, did Paimon get that right? Exactly. 
wine is meant to be savored. Drinking it without being able to appreciate its subtle notes and characteristics is a loss not just for the winemaker, but for the consumer as well. If we can increase the alertness of those too exhausted to perceive the subtle notes, but decrease the restlessness of those too agitated to raise their glass, then we can be sure to reach a point of balance where all can enjoy their wine to the fullest extent. Well, it's definitely a unique request. Seems like this would be a tricky challenge for any poetry maker. Use. How's the potion coming? Have you finished? We're finished with the potion, Master D. Luke. Please give it a try. Oh, I thought you might need more time, but it looks like you've already found the solution. Nice job. The effect is even more apparent than I imagined. Your many talents just keep on surprising me. On behalf of Don Winery, I would like to make a bulk purchase order for this potion. Oh, and don't worry about the delivery side of things. Elzer will send someone to pick up the potions once they're ready. My plan is to enlist the help of artisans to infuse candles and fragrances with the effects of this potion. Those products will serve as complimentary gifts for customers to enjoy during wine tasting. So you plan to make alchemical potions part of the wine drinking experience itself. Interesting. And very much in keeping with the Dawn Winery's way of doing business. There's still work to be done, so I should probably head out. It'll take some time before we know exactly what the commercial impact of this combination will be. In any case, it's been a pleasure working with you. Here's hoping our two businesses will have a long and successful partnership. I hope those orders will keep on rolling in, for both our sakes. Oh, and if you have some time, you should stop by Angel Share to see your masterpiece in action. For sure! Paimon can't wait! We'll see you next time, Master D. Luke! 